can come and go, and let's face it, they aren't always easy to pull off. But Galleria Dallas fashion stylist Holly Cortero is here to share some spring looks that are on trend and easy for anyone to wear. Welcome, Holly. It's Thank good to see you. you. Good to see you, too. Now, we, I love experimenting with, fall, with spring trends and the yes. new trends that come out fall and spring and summer, but... They some of them are a little ridiculous. Well, Let's just all be honest. They are, and some of them, you look at the magazines and you're like, I'm not going to wear that. But so we've got some trends here today that are wearable for most women, and you can kind of pick and choose how you're going to wear them. I love this. Okay, what's the first trend that we're the showing? The first trend that we're talking about are pastels, and pastels are beautiful. There are so many shades out there. They really can work on anyone. I adore this dress. This is from Club Monaco. The Fit and Flare Silhouette, another trend that we're seeing, yes. which works on a lot of body types. But I love this one. It also has a little bit of texture to it. It's just a beautiful pastel pink, and it really would look good on anyone. If pink's not your color, go with a, a mint green or a pastel blue. There are so many pastels that are out there, and I just invested in my first pink little coat that I'm mixing with black leather right now yes. to kind of ease me into this pastel thing. But I love the mint green. If you don't, if you're not a pink person, there's greens, there's lilacs, there's yellows. Absolutely, and I actually was going to show this today because it's so cold with black tights and with a moto jacket, and it will look adorable. But into spring, since we're talking spring trends, I just added a beautiful necklace also from Club Monaco at Galleria and this is just a beautiful look. Absolutely beautiful and we would be perfect for all these like spring garden parties yes. and baby showers and all those things that you have to go to in the spring. Exactly. Okay, so what's this that. next trend? I'm seeing lots of prints on prints on prints. Prints on prints is one of them and I know it can be set hard for some to pull off but the other trend that we're talking about here is black and white. And Which ladies, is everywhere. It's everywhere. Black and white is such a trend. It also comes back pretty much every, every you year. You really can't go wrong if you, you invest in black and white. You can't go wrong with black and white. Pieces. Here we've mixed patterns. So we've got this great striped chevron print top and the printed polka dot pants. This may not be for you. If you think you can pull it off, you should do it because this is a great trend to it's wear. It's adorable. But if you if you don't like it, take the top and wear it with black pants. When take I was the bottom people, and wear it with a white top. If you're mixing prints, like do one large print exactly. and one small print. And so like you'll notice the stripes are really big, the polka dots are really small, and it works. Exactly. So the polka dots almost serve like a neutral here. And this look is from Banana Republic, so it's really... Um, reachable, it's affordable for most people, and I really just love this. I love the mixing patterns, but you know, bottom line, black and white is where it's at for yes. spring. And so, again, if you're not into the whole mixing prints thing, it's okay. Just take the top, wear it with black, you're good to go. Love it. And in the summertime, when it starts to get warmer, you could wear it with white pants. Absolutely. Adorable. Okay, now these midi-length skirts. You, women, you've probably seen this M-I-D-I, yes. and you don't know what it means. It is this length we're referring to, and they are everywhere. Everywhere. The midi-length is in for spring. It works really well for a lot of women. Some people, maybe not so much, but I like this one because it has this kind of tulip hem. You can find the midi skirts that are super fitted, almost like a um, bandage dress, like that really tight yes, fitted like midi. Like a pencil skirt, but just longer than your Exactly. Name. Or you can find the full ones that are very June Cleaver, very Mad Men. This is somewhere in between with the with the tulip hem. And this look is from H&M. So the midi length is one of the trends. The other trend that we're talking about with this one are boxy tops. Lots of squared off boxy tops. And whether it's a jacket or a shirt like this one, this is almost a, it's kind of a quilt material um, of the shirt. And what would you say the key is to wearing a boxy shirt? Because I would say it's make sure whatever you're wearing on the bottom is fitted. Absolutely. I think that's number one. Um, but I, what I love about the boxy top is so flattering on so many women. It hides any imperfect, any like figure and flaws that you might have. You know, if you're bigger in the midsection, this is your top. And I, and I love it. But yes, I think if you wear the, the boxy top, you want to wear something either fitted or short where you're showing off your legs on the bottom. It's kind of a more of a chic version of the flowy tops that we've seen, like the baby doll top that we've seen in mm -hmm. seasons past where women go, well, I like these, but I look pregnant. This is just a little bit more of a tailored take on that. Yeah, and the other way I look at it, because we've seen a lot of crop tops out there, and I'm sorry, there are a lot of us that are not going to go wear a crop top. And a lot of workplaces that don't that let don't you allow wear that. a crop top. To me, this is the, the more wearable version of a crop top. It's got that cropped look um, and the feel of a cropped look, but it's longer, Love so it, it works with lots of different um, figures. Okay, and then this last look, um, we're seeing perforated leather, we're seeing mesh, and you used a word <laughs> that I'm just going to go and say I can't take credit for because I haven't heard it yet. What was that word? Athleisure. So athleisure. it's a mixture of athletic looks and like leisure wear, like everyday clothing. And so this is actually kind of taking the athletic look and making it dressier. This top is from Zara. I love the kind of banded um, 
wrists and the and of course at the collar and then at the bottom there it really has that feel of like I'm gonna go play tennis but yet it's with this beautiful mesh shirt and then we've paired that with the Calvin Klein skirt from Macy's which is that perforated leather we're seeing a lot of the perforated leather I love and it totally leather. fits with this trend and the white leather yes yes and then you know the shoes are from Zara kind of a chunky heel little sportier look you know not like a super high heel but this look I mean you could take this a lot of, you this is the way to dress it up but you could easily wear this with denim or like a pair of cut off shorts in the summer and dress it down but that that mixture of athletic wear and everyday clothing is, is a trend that we're seeing for spring and I want to bring all these models back out because Holly what y'all with so many great stores that y'all have at the Galleria you can kind of choose what trend you like and kind of fit it to your pocketbook Absolutely. fit it to your own style fit it to your existing wardrobe right and boom you've got a brand new spring and wardrobe. these are all great retailers I mean we've got H&M Club Monaco Zara and Banana Republic I all think it with works really for friendly price points yes. for anyone's pocketbook absolutely so many great tips thank you Ms. Holly thank Cortero you. and you guys you can find all of these looks plus a whole lot more go to the Galleria um, and check out their widest store but you can find your favorite store there or go to our website that's thebroadcasttv.com okay stick around more broadcast continues after this.